Hi guys, we're going to be looking now at um, using our kinematic equations, our equations of motions, to answer questions on Worksheet 5. But before I start, I'd like to just um, talk about three things. One of them is <coughs> we need to be sure about our symbols and units. Initial velocity V subscript I, final velocity V subscript F, acceleration A, distance, we may call displacement as well, D and time T, and the units for those, meters per second for velocity, meters per second squared for acceleration. So first thing, I need to remember those. And second, we need to, <coughs> we need to remind ourselves of the four equations of motions, the four kinematic equations that will be given in the exam. Uh, this one here, we're not given, but it's a useful one. We're given one, two, three, and five, but we're not given this one. It's similar to this third one. Distance, displacement equals velocity times initial, initial velocity times time plus half a t squared. This one is like that, but it's d is equal to final velocity time minus a half a t squared. So there are our equations. And these equations lend themselves really to be using our guess given unknown what's an equation which ties all those together, <coughs> substitute in the equation, and then solve the equation. So bearing those three things in mind, one, our symbols, make sure you know the symbols, two, Make sure you remember these equations. And three, we're going to use guess. So our very first question is, a car is accelerating from rest at five meters per second squared. What will be its speed after two, eight seconds? So let's use our guess. A car is accelerating from rest at five meters per second squared. This is very common uh, comment on a question. A car is accelerating from rest, so the initial velocity from rest must be zero meters per second. A car is accelerating from rest at five meters per second squared. We're given the acceleration is equal to five meters per second squared. What will be its speed after t equals eight seconds? Here's the givens, initial velocity 0, acceleration 5 metres per second squared, time 8 seconds, unknown, what will its speed be after 8 seconds? We want to find V final. So here it is, we've got these four unknowns, which of these equations tie together just these four unknowns? V initial, acceleration, T and V final. And we can see it's this first one here at the top. We have V final is equal to V initial plus AT. We've got our equation. Now substitute in our values. V final, we don't know. Initial velocity is 0 plus A times T is 8. Final velocity is equal to 40. And remember our units. Units are absolutely vital. Units for velocity meters per second squared. Meters per second. So there's the answer to the first one. That's 1a. And we'll look at 1b in one second. 1b. How far will the car have traveled in 8 seconds? So let's use our guess again. Our guess. We're given... The initial velocity is equal to zero. The time is eight seconds. The acceleration, five meters per second squared. We've just calculated the final velocity to be 40 meters per second. So that's all our givens. We're given those four. The unknown is how far will it have traveled in d seconds? We don't know the, the dis distance, the displacement. Now we find an equation which ties this together. We've got four knowns and one unknown. Find an equation which will tie those together. 
and we can use this one d is equal to v initial times time plus a half a t squared substitute our values substitute our values d is equal to initial velocity times time plus a half times 5 times 8 squared the displacement is 160 and units meters so that's using guess to solve 1b so 2a a motor scooter is traveling at 20 meters per second motor scooter traveling at 20 meters per second it steadily decelerates down to a velocity of 15 meters per second so initial velocity is 20 meters per second it slows down the, to a final velocity of 15 meters per second and that takes eight seconds calculate its acceleration calculate its acceleration let's try again guess we've got an initial velocity we've got a final velocity and we've got a time our unknown is calculate the acceleration now it uses the word deceleration i wish it wouldn't but deceleration is simply negative acceleration the body whatever it is the scooter is slowing down its velocity is decreasing it's got a negative acceleration so deceleration is simply a negative acceleration so a we don't know what's an equation which ties just these ones together an equation v final equals v initial plus a t substitute our values v final 15 v initial 20 plus acceleration is our unknown times 8 rearrange that and we get acceleration is equal to negative 0 0.63 units for acceleration meters per second squared you can work that one out for yourself 2b if this scooter continues to decelerate at this rate how much time would it need to stop so let's have a look at it now what's given it's the the velocity has now come down to 15 meters per second and it says how long will it take to stop so our final velocity is clearly going to be zero so 15 meters per second is our new initial velocity so our new initial velocity is 15 meters per second our final velocity is equal to zero we've calculated the acceleration to be negative 0 0.63 meters per second squared and we're asked to find the time what's the unknown the time we don't know how long it's going to take to stop Watch is an equation which ties the, just these four things together initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration, and time. What's an equation which ties these together? Once again, it's that top equation V final is equal to V initial plus AT. V final is zero is equal to V initial 15 plus negative 0.63 times t and we solve for t t is equal to 24 and the units absolutely vital our units we shouldn't have to look that up units for time clearly is seconds 24 seconds so that's an example to a few examples of how to use our guess to solve our kinematic equations